welcome back to the research world in this video we are going to discuss hypothesis testing what is hypothesis testing and what are the steps involved in the hypothesis testing so let's begin what is meant by the hypothesis testing when interpreting research findings researchers need to assess whether these findings may have occurred by chance or not so hypothesis testing is a systematic procedure for deciding whether the results of a research study supports a particular theory which applies to a population. Hence, hypothesis testing uses sample data to evaluate a hypothesis about a population. So, hypothesis testing basically verifies that whether a particular research findings have been occurred by chance or not. The steps involved in the hypothesis testing process. What are the steps involved in the hypothesis testing process? So there are five basic steps involved in the hypothesis testing. Step number first is set up the hypothesis. Second one is collect and summarize data. Third, perform a statistical test. Fourth, make a decision about the null hypothesis and finally state an overall conclusion. So let's discuss these steps one by one. First of all, we have set up the hypothesis of your research project. So in this very first step, you have to set up the hypothesis for your research project. Basically, there are two major types of the research hypothesis used in the research hypothesis testing process one is the research hypothesis and this is also known as the alternative hypothesis this is the hypothesis that you propose also known as the alternative hypothesis and is denoted by h a a stands for the alternative for example there is a relationship between the intelligence and the academic results so you are going to find a relationship between the intelligence and the academic results and this is your research hypothesis now what is meant by a null hypothesis so null hypothesis that is denoted by the h naught is the opposite of the research hypothesis and expresses that there is no relationship between the variables are no difference between groups for example H not there is no relationship between intelligence and the academic results so initially in the very first step you need to define two hypotheses that is the alternative hypothesis and the null hypothesis the in this particular scenario your alternative hypothesis is that there is a relationship that there exists a relationship between the intelligence and the academic results so in order to prove your research hypothesis you propose or devise a null hypothesis that there is no relationship between the intelligence and the academic results so this is the step first in the hypothesis testing process step number two is collect and summarize data in order to test your hypothesis that you propose in the first step you look at the sampled data in order to draw conclusions about the entire population. In this case of the hypothesis testing, based on the data, you draw conclusions about whether or not there is enough evidence to reject H0. When you are going to test the hypothesis, you basically need to focus on the H0. That if your H0 is rejected, so automatically you are alternative hypothesis is accepted but if you fail to reject the H0 then your uh, alternative hypothesis will be rejected so the step number three step number three perform a statistical tests that the data you have gathered and summarized now you are going to perform the statistical tests on your sampled data so variety of statistical tests are conducted based on the nature of the research requirements. In the hypothesis testing, a value is set 
to determine or assess whether the null hypothesis is accepted or rejected and whether the result is statistically significant or not. In this very step, you need to determine the two crucial values. One is a critical value and this is the score the sample would need to decide against the null hypothesis and the next one is the p-value that is commonly known as a probability value is used to assess the significance of the statistical test. If the null hypothesis is rejected, then the alternative to the null hypothesis is accepted, that is the alternative hypothesis. So in this step, you need to perform a variety of the statistical st tests in order to prove and verify the significance of the statistical tests. Next, step number four. Make a decision about the null hypothesis. Once you are done with your sample data and you have performed the different statistical tests, now you are in a position to state whether to reject the null hypothesis or accept the null hypothesis. In this step, we decide to either reject the null hypothesis or decide to fail the reject are failed to reject the null hypothesis. This decision is based upon the results we obtain from the different statistical tests that are being performed in the step number three. And finally, we are in a position to state an overall conclusion. So, the results of the hypothesis testing will be presented in the results section and the discussion section of your research paper are the thesis. And in the results section, you should give a brief summary of the data and a summary of the results of your statistical tests. So these are the five steps, a guide of hypothesis testing process. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe and share it with your friends. Thank you for